Hello, Matt here with 5280 Armory. Last week I was shooting the Gerson MC9 match, shot it a ton, had a great time. Seemed like the perfect time to roll into this next handgun. This is the Stoger STR9S Combat. This pistol includes a couple of features you're just not going to find on the basic STRs. The first thing that you're going to notice is that threaded barrel. It's half by 28. That choice in thread pitch is going to include most popular suppressors on the market today. The sights are suppressor ready as well. They're also some of the tallest sights I've ever seen. They should clear most suppressors out there. Both are drift punch adjustable, but the rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation anyway. I especially like the three dot sights, they're the high vis variety. They've installed a large magwell at the bottom of the grip. That should be helpful when speeding up the mag changes with these gigantic 20 round mags. The grip is moderately stempled, the back straps are interchangeable, the front straps did get the finger grooves. They're pretty large, so that should work for most people. They also undercut this trigger guard. That's a feature that most people like. The polymer frame houses the reversible mag release, the M1913 accessory rail, and for those of you that shoot Glock, you're definitely going to recognize the slide release and this takedown mechanism. The slide has some pretty aggressive front and rear serrations. It's also got the external extractor, a loaded chamber viewing window, and for those of you that like the red dot, you're going to be happy to see that this is optics ready. They're also going to send four mounting plates that should cover most of the popular optics out there. Let's grab our shooting bag and head out to the range. We'll cover some of the other features while we're out there. And of course, we're going to do a lot of shooting as well. The trigger on this STR is the flat type, and I kind of like that. That suits me just fine. The alignment gauge says we're reading at about five pounds. That's about a pound less than the Gerson match that we were shooting last week. The reset is similar, somewhere near a quarter of an inch on that trigger travel. The height of the suppressor sights plus the extension on the mag, I literally had to lower my pistol rest so I could see how we're doing on target down there. Let's uh, see what kind of group we can get here. That last shot group was about two inches, but I know the pistol can do better than that. I think the high magazine plus this rest is part of the problem. Let's change out the rest and see if we don't get a different result. I definitely have one flyer that I can see from here, but the other ones seem to be in a tighter group. Let's go get a closer look. Typically, I really can't tell about a handgun's accuracy when we have these extended magazines like this. Off the bench rest, it just acts like a teeter-totter, and that muzzle climb is more exaggerated. So let's see what happens when we shoot offhand. This is where these tall sights are going to come in handy. They actually do clear the suppressor. It's half by 28, so it went on super easy. Let's see if we have any issues to uh, feed fire eject with the suppressor on. All right, no failures to feed fire eject. That's a pretty good start. That was just target grade ammunition I was using on that last shot with the suppressor. I'm always happy to see that a, a gun doesn't need really expensive ammunition to feed, fire, and eject when you're running suppressed. Let's do a little holster work and uh, see how that goes. You really have to take into account that really tall front sight with your holster. I'm starting to get a feel for it now. 
Would be nice if it would hold open for me on that last round, but once again, we are using target grade ammunition. All right, now that we know that we're functioning just fine, how about we turn up the tempo just a little bit? Let's take it over to the other side. We'll set up a few drills and let's run this pistol and see what we get. We're going to have this suppressor ready STR tactical for sale and for rent down here at the shop. So why don't you come on down and take a look or even take it out on a range and give it a try. 5280 Armory, Colorado's gun shop. We'll see you soon. Hey, and don't forget, if you like watching videos about firearms and supporting your second amendment, or you're from another country in which you had a second amendment, do us a big favor. Hit that subscribe button so we can keep this channel going. And thanks for watching.